In this video, we're going to talk about video nystagmography, which is one of several kinds of vestibular tests your doctor may recommend. If you haven't seen it already, the video introducing how vestibular physiology works will make video nystagmography easier to understand. During a video nystagmography test, you'll wear a set of infrared video goggles that will record your eye movements throughout the test. The lights are on in this demonstration, but the actual test is done in the dark. Why measure the eye movements? One of the important functions of the vestibular system is called the vestibulo-ocular reflex. When the vestibular system senses head motion, this reflex causes the eyes to move in their sockets to compensate for the motion, which allows them to smoothly stay focused on a stationary object. And through this reflex, your eye movements can provide a lot of information about your vestibular system. If the perceived head motion goes so far that there's no more room for the eyes to rotate, the eyes will quickly reset. With a sustained sense of head rotation, this can result in a rhythmic back and forth motion of the eyes called nystagmus. This is where the name of the test comes from. Okay, so once you have your goggles on, there are several parts of the test. The first part is known as the ocular motor battery, which measures how your eyes respond to various changing and moving images while your head is kept still. Next, you'll be asked to move your head and body through several positions and maneuvers, such as shaking your head side to side, while the goggles watch for nystagmus patterns that provide information about how your vestibular system is being activated. The final part of the test is called the caloric test, in which temperature is used to stimulate the vestibular system. Warm or cool air or water will be put into your ear canal, and your eye movements will be recorded. One benefit of this part of the test is that it tests one ear at a time so we can see the differences from one side to the other. Instead of video nystagmography, your doctor might recommend a very similar test called electronystagmography. In this case, eye movements are sensed with a set of electrodes rather than with infrared goggles. It's important to know ahead of time that vestibular testing can be uncomfortable. There aren't any long-term effects, but it's not unusual to feel fatigued or slightly unsteady after the test, and depending on the cause of your symptoms, the test could cause motion sickness or nausea. And finally, as with any vestibular test, it's important to keep in mind that the test is only one piece of the puzzle. Your doctor will work with you to combine the information from the test and your symptoms and medical history to determine the best course of treatment. That's it for this video. You can find more information on the UCSF Balance and Falls Center website. Thanks for watching.